Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Wobble Dogs. Bonk, 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 bonk. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing science. I, I I hope you guys like science. Oh crud! I got a whole bunch of guys that are ready to hatch. But uh, here, let's get let's get that out of the way first. Leviticus, pop, pop on out. Oh yeah, that, that's right, Leviticus. Yeah, you're here with all the alien fruits. Oh yeah, you got quite a bit shorter. That's dope. Yeah, you got to be a short little guy, ain't ya? The the Danny DeVito of Wobble Dogs. Dope. I love it. And granule. I I think yeah, you're just growing up from a puppy. I I hope you stay bright white. Oh yeah, you are. I mean, yeah, your pattern from your legs has kind of gone up a little bit, and, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it. <laughs> Dwing Dong. Oh, man, what a great name. I, I, I'm I, going to probably laugh every time I say it. Yeah, you're still a small boy. I love it. Yeah, you're small. S-M-O-L, small. Well, there we go. Uh, we, we got these guys hatched, and uh, here, Dwing Dong, uh, go ahead and eat this. Or you can have a nugget. That, that's fine, too. But like I was saying, in today's episode, we're doing science. Now, if you guys paid attention to the last episode, we put 190 away because I said that I had something special I wanted to do. <laughs> Who's paying attention? Yeah, you can go ahead and post down in the comments if you're paying attention. I, I, I'd appreciate that because I, I, I need to know it. I need to know. But what we're doing here with 190 is based on. Oh, wow. We got a lot of comments on this one here. We're going to breed 190 and Helvetica because, yeah, so many of you wanted to see it and I just couldn't fit it in the last episode and I feel bad. And coincidentally, we, we just got an egg for it. Perfect. We're here, so Kevin shuts up. Let, 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 let's go ahead and, and, and put him up in a cocoon. Come on, get your, get your mutations up, my guy. There you go, perfect. And now let's get to breeding. So we're going to do 190 and Helvetica. I, I, I almost said Helvetica, you know, like the font. That, that wouldn't have been right. But let's see what these two can come up with. Oh boy, we got a wide pup right off the bat. You know what, let, let's, I, 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 I still got to get a wide dog. I got to get a wide dog so I can get that desert dispenser. Am I the only one that doesn't have a des desert dispenser yet? Yeah, we, we got to get one. Boy, these guys are, are, are looking dope. You guys are looking like some coach bags or something. You guys are like all pink or no, may, maybe juicy couture. I don't know. I don't know fashion. But you guys are all pink with like gold embroidery on you. It, it's kind of sick. Oh my God, you guys are so loud. What's up with your leg here, guy? Are you okay? Oh yeah, there you go. You straightened it out. Yeah, good job. Nod your head to it. Well, there we go. Tiny little litter of one headbanger. Yeah, you're going to be my final dog. Honestly, I was just about ready to give up anyways. We got a nice, we got a nice pup. Now, see, I told you there was a reason that I saved 190. So I could get this beautiful pup right here. Let's go ahead and incubate your egg, my guy. Now we'll check in on uh, some of the rest of our pups here. Tweak, you're not in good shape. You're never in good shape. You got all those legs and yet you don't go anywhere. I, you know, I'd probably skip leg day if I were you too, Tweak. Here, let's go over here. I have some of these cut fruits. There you go. Good job. Oh, another egg. Oh, speaking of, I just heard an egg get ready. Well, uh, first, before we do that, let, let, let's go ahead and take care of... Uh, who the heck is this? Butter stick? The stick of butter? With the butter on it? Oh, but you gotta uh, you gotta eat too. Here, I don't want you to eat that. Here, eat something over here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you're going down there. Oh, can you eat an egg? That would be dope. I mean, not gonna lie, I would give up an egg. Okay, well, I guess you can. Whatever. Let's pop our creation out of the incubator and see what we get. Wow! You are pretty wide. I like starting with something that's kind of wide. Yeah, I didn't realize you had so many legs. Honestly, I thought you just had four legs. I guess you have more. Well, based on a comment that we have here from The Pancake Child, it says, name a dog, cargo beep beep. You know, it's such an awesome name. I'm going to do it. Ah. Uh... Okay, well, we're just gonna go cargo beep, okay? Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, sorry, cargo beep. But we all know in our heart of hearts that your real name is cargo beep beep. Car cargo beep beep. All right, Kevin, hop on out. Let, let, let's see what we're working with here. Whoa, were your eyes like that before? They were, okay. Did you grow an extra head? Hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just tripping. Okay, you just got pink and it's throwing everything off. Scrunkly, my dude. I'm gonna put a, uh, put away that here. We're not gonna memorialize whoever that was from. And let's, oh, Scrunkly. I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm gonna make you happy here quick. Yeah, yeah, uh, let, let's reinforce sleeping, I guess. <laughs> you are a teen. And go ahead and pupate. <gasps> oh no, Tweak. Tweak, you're ready to go? <gasps> I'm gonna get so many legs out of you. Oh, it's gonna be a glorious thing gonna be a glorious thing I, I i i hate to see you go but you, you, you're worth so much food i mean I, 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 you got so much food in you tweak and you keep getting bopped that that, that that's no way to die well there we go that go, uh, there goes tweak but for the first science experiment that we're going to use for today's episode it comes from fonny 14 it says suggestion name a puppy table 
Oops, I already named our puppy something. I'm I'm sorry. But the rest of the comment says, and feed it nothing but pancakes, moon cheese, and coconuts. Watch the fun evolution. You know what? That sounds like an awesome way, actually, to get uh, you know to get what I'm going for, to get a, a, a wide pup. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, cargo beep. Sorry. I, I, no, no, no. Don't get short. You little monster. You wait, We don't want that stuff in your gut. I'm actually going to volunteer you here for this experiment. So let's go up to this room. I think this is where, yeah, we, we already have something set up in this room. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, build another separation isolation feeding pen. Montage time. And let's make plenty of uh, pancakes here. And plenty of moon cheese. And let's get you in here, cargo beep beep. Now I gotta look around to see if there's any cocoons, huh? Hello, cocoons, where are you? Ugh, pee and poop. I didn't mean to find you. Thought I left a cocoon in here. There was, it's just so small. Okay, it's gonna be hard to, to get all the cocoons over there. You can do it though. There we go. Cargo beep beep. Here, e eat the cocoon, please. There you go. Oh, you're going to throw up. Okay, well, that, that's not good. Okay, let's try one more time, my guy. Eat the empty cocoon. There you go. Good job. Do I have any other cocoons? Oh, yes. Look at I, I have other cocoons over here. Okay. Yes, I see you, Stretch. I I, I see you, Ghost Stretch. Yes, yeah, you're, you're, you were a good boy, but now you just haunt me. All right, I sure hope this way goes up there. I don't know. We'll see. It does! Wow, perfect. And cargo beep beep. I mean, this is the, the, the perfect time for you here to, to, to pupate and generate even even more. Here, go ahead and, ha and have that. Here, can you can you eat any more? I know it's hard. I know, I know. Oh, can you try? Can you try? I, I know you're, 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 oh, you're so good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you, let you pupate here. Now, Scrunkly, hop on out and, and, let, and let's see what we got. Oh, you're, you're looking awfully scrunkly, scrunkly. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I just realized I'm like taking on an extra task if I gotta, I gotta like take care of every cocoon now. Maybe this was a bad idea. Or maybe it's awesome. I don't know. Well, for the next science experiment comment, oh, hold up, cocoon. Well, I think we're gonna use this room here for the next science experiment comment that we're uh, gonna use here. This one comes from Shannon Dunn. It says, see what happens when one of the ones that can fly in a kind of no gravity area. I mean, I, I actually don't have a gravity machine built right now, but let's go ahead and do this room that way, huh? It's time for another montage. This room makes very little sense because of the trees in here, but you know what? I I'll allow it. So here, let's go to zero gravity. There we go. And now we just have to find a dog with wings. I volunteer you, Kevin. Whoa, good thing I I, I, I looked for you. You were, you were not in a good spot there. Now, now we just have to figure out how to get you to that room. Yeah, this this part might be difficult. Actually, I believe right here will bring you. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get tossed through. Ah, can't go up. Kevin, go get sucked up here. Please, thank, thank you. And there we go. It is a zero gravity room, and let me tell you to whoa. Let me tell you to fly, and yeah, uh, you, you flew. You flew straight up. It's kind of what I knew would happen. Are you okay with that, Kevin? Go, go ahead and fly again. Good job, Kevin. Let me let me, let me praise that. Reinforce flying. All right, good. Yeah, good job. Yeah, 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 doing great here, bud. Well, I got a lot of pupations that are ready to happen here. Leviticus, go up in your cocoon, my guy. Wing Dong. Wow, I didn't even know somebody could get caught back there. I, I don't even know if I could find you. Oh, crap. Wing Dong, I think the only hope for you here is that you, you pupate. Okay, there you go. Can I? Yes, I can get you out of there. Whew. That was a close one, little buddy. And Granule, go, go ahead. I, I, I feel bad not taking care of you first, but we're running short on time here. I, I got so much to do. All right, cargo beep beep. Hop on out. Let, let, let's see if you've gotten any wider here. Well, I do believe you are quite large. Uh, yeah, you've just gotten large. You, you're not really impressing me with your width, though. You'll get there. H.H. H. Greg, I feel like I haven't even seen you this episode. Whoa, you got like a little wedge body, my guy. Uh, uh, what's cracking here? What's going on? Are you okay? Here, let's go over here and have some nuggies. Yeah, have some of them nuggies. There, or whatever you're eating. I don't know. You're eating stuff. And you're mad about it. Okay, Kevin, let's go ahead and pupate here since we, we we rescued you from the the evil the evil zero gravity room. <laughs> a poor fart just getting tossed around here everywhere. You're a good boy, fart. Even if you do smell like what you know. Now we got a number of dogs to hatch here. Let's go through them pretty quickly. Leviticus, you're looking dope. You're looking more alienish than ever. Must be all the fruit. 
Ding dong, yes, still small. <laughs> I love your name. Gran, you will look at as fly as ever. Kevin, yeah, yeah, you're still spooky. Yeah, 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 the stuff on nightmares. Do you got enough cocoons in here, my guy? I mean, I, 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 I have made this a, a very cocoon-centric place. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and import a dog that comes from a viewer uh, that's joined our Discord server. Uh, if you want to join as well, link is in the description. But this comes from Oblongated Bubbles, and let's go ahead and import this dog. So we'll go ahead and paste here an import and see what we get. And whoa, a three-headed dog. You're very green, my guy. I, I I really love how you look. I love it. And how many legs you got? You got eight legs. Eight legs, so spider legs and Cerberus heads. I, that's amazing. Well, we're gonna name you after your owner here. I think obligated Bubbles is a little long, so let's just go with Bubbles. Now let's take out Bubbles and yo, you you kind of you kind of slowed down my frames a little bit when you popped in, my guy. That's okay. You're still pretty sick here. But you're gonna work for our next experiment here, which comes from Box Cats and says suggestion: try feeding a wobble dog only poop, half-eaten food, dog parts, and cocoons. I, well, I know just the room to do it because we got a ton of dog parts wherever, uh, uh, you know, right right in here. Everybody move. Yeah, right in here. We got, we got a ton of dog legs. That's perfect. So let's see here. Uh, let's do a quick montage because I, I, I have to get all this stuff into like one area so I can kind of segregate it. So yeah, uh, quick montage time. Oh my gosh, there's so many legs to move. Quick, why did you have to have so many legs? And they're so... Thin and spindly, this is impossible. All right, and hello, Bubbles. What are you doing over here? Oh, Bubbles, are you are, are you not easy to get along with? There you go, this is gonna be your room. You're already ready to pupate. What the heck have you been eating? Here, uh, uh, eat, eat, eat some, I don't know. Have some, uh, oh, perfect, you're throwing up. Well, you can eat that too. I don't wanna do that. Ugh. Okay, here, I, I eat some poop then, I guess, okay. We'll eat that. That's fine. As long as you're eating something, I don't care. I'm not expecting much yet, but go ahead uh, and go up in your cocoon here, and I don't know. You can eat your own cocoon. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna split all the cocoons between two different, yeah, you know, two different science experiments. Scrunkly. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry, Scrunkly. You're in bad shape here. I know. I know. Here, have a ham slider. It's not from Arby's or anything. I know. It, it's not as good as Arby's, and it, don't anybody disparage Arby's in the comments. Don't you dare. Otherwise, Scrunkly will get mad because he loves Arby's. That's just part of the meta. Butter stick. Uh, Why well, you're so angry? I know. I haven't paid enough attention to you. I really wish you were yellow. Are you melting? Fridge joke. Haha, <laughs> made it last episode. Don't repeat it, Gaz. Bubbles, let's, uh, I don't know. Uh, let, let's see what happens with you here. Let, let, let's see. You are pretty big. Uh, and I, I don't know. We're probably going to get some pretty crazy things going on with you here. Scrunkly, I don't know. May, maybe you can hop out and, and, and give our friend down here, H.H. Uh, Greg, some love. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Be here. H.H. Greg is really, really mad. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you grab him here? Oh, wait, that's Dwing Dong. Dwing Dong and H.H. Greg. You guys are all just, I, I, I don't know. There's so much going on. Speaking of so much going on, Cargo Beep Beep. How you, how you doing up here, my guy? Here, have another pancake. Yeah, I, we got to make sure to keep you nice and full. And we're going to praise eating because, yeah, I, I want you to eat a lot. Now, I don't know, have a cocoon. Get some of them super genes. Perfect. Ooh, there's lots of poop in here. But, you know, I, I'll be honest. I, I don't want to move that all the way to the other room that I need to. <laughs> Cargo beep beep. What fortuitous timing. You're ready to pupate again already. How, how wonderful is that? Go, go ahead. Go up in your cocoon here. Let's give you some of them super duper oopa mutations and see what happens. H. H. Greg, you're not having a good time over here. Let's move you to a different room. I think you're disturbing everybody else with your grumbling over here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what you're so mad about. Oh, well, you're antagonistic. You leave a bad impression. Yeah, so you're, you're not good for the other dogs. Here, maybe you can hang out in this room. I don't. Know. You can be by yourself and just stay down here and be a, be a, be a big old grump down here by your lonesome. Kevin, boy, I, I don't like those eyes without pupils. It, it's, it's creepy. I mean, you, you're kind of cool, but I don't know. Uh, what do you got? Twelve eyes? Twelve eyes. Yeah, six heads, two eyes each. Twelve. I, I, I'm doing the math. I, I, I did it, even without my calculator. Fart. Okay, I know you're not ready to pass yet, fart, but we gotta, we gotta show you a little bit of love here, anyways, right? We gotta show you some love. Yeah, you were a good fart. Here, how about you? I don't know. Eat this baby tooth. I don't think it'll give you anything notable, but you know, go for it. And you know what? 200 IQ play right here. Let's go ahead and get you over to the room that we need to get you in for when your body passes. Yeah, there we go. 
No, no. Ah. All right, fart. Don't don't get yeeted across this time. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put you right in here. There you go. Just don't eat anything. Okay. Actually, maybe maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know. Viticus, I hope you're doing good here. Uh, you're, you're oh, you, you kind of hopped around a little bit. <laughs> no worries. Let's pupate you here and then check on your roommate. Yeah, yeah, your roommate. Cargo beep beep. And oh, yeah, you bunked ahead. All right. I mean, you're getting bigger. How's that width looking? Get wide, cargo beep. You know what you need to do? Eat more moon cheese. I, I believe in you. Kevin, up uh, up in the cocoon with you, Kevin. Grand duel, same thing. Dwing dong. What, you can't, you can't go in a cocoon in here, bud. All right, let's, yeah, pupate you right outside. Perfect. Oh, and uh, you're in the green room. I should know. I only have one den. I should probably let them build more. Oops. Bart, you, you're getting a little hungry? I'm sorry. Oh, let, let's move. Oh, uh, can, can somebody let go? Please? Can you guys, can you guys let go of each other? Okay, well, I guess you're just standing here, Fart. I mean, uh, no no harm. I don't really see you eating a lot. <laughs> it is great, you, you big grumpy butt. Get, get over here. You have just... Oh, my goodness. Look at the disaster in this room. I don't even feel like cleaning up the rest of it. Sorry. I I, I just don't feel like it. I'm not feeling it today, guys. There, we got, some, we got some more poop over here for our newcomer, Bubbles. Speaking of Bubbles, you're... I don't know. You have high energy, and you're just very considerate, and yet, I don't know. Fart is about to die, and you really seem to be bullying him in this corner. Like, what's going on, man? Can I just here? How about how, how about you eat some eat some duty? There you go. Yeah, let him go. Oh, look at that. Fart is not happy. Sorry, Fart. How about you? I don't know. Uh, yeah, just grab some poop. Maybe that'll calm you down. I don't know. Here, take a nap so I don't have to hear it anymore. There. Uh, how about that? There you go. All right, Leviticus. Let's hop on out. See what you're working with. Oh, your color got really sick all of a sudden. I don't know what it is, but I love that. You're like like a dark angel or something. Oh, give me the yeah, let me clean up the poop. We, we don't we don't want we don't want the poop in here. Dwing dong, pop on out. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Looking good. Granule. Wow, you've gotten really big too, and your spot keeps getting a little bit darker. Uh, it's okay, I'll allow it. I mean, I, I don't have a choice. And Kevin, I feel, I feel like you've been in your cocoon for a really, 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 like, really long time. I'm sorry. Actually, you probably haven't been, but you're still looking dope. You're, you're, you're like losing some saturation too in your color. It's okay. You still look really dope. <gasps> Fart. You're ready to pass. Well, I'm sure this is gonna go great because Bubbles is holding you, and, and not like in a really like polite way. Like, I'll miss you, Fart. Well. Bubbles, why, why are you even mourning Fart? Wow, look at the size of Fart's heads. That, that sentence I never thought I'd say. Bubbles the cannibal. I didn't even have to tell you. I suppose that's what I get from reinforcing so much eating, huh? Here, I, I, why don't you go ahead and take a nap? You seem to be doing pretty good overall. Well, okay, I'll let you eat first, I guess. Nah, you don't want to finish? All right, uh, just take a, take a quick rest. Butter stick, you want some You want some, some buttery garlic bread here? Oh man, I could really go over some buttery garlic bread. That sounds really good, huh? Let's give you some rubs here too. You know what, you got a frowny face down on the bottom left as well here. You're you're leaving a bad impression. Boy, we do, all of our dogs are taking on traits that, you know, just make them not very likable people. <laughs> all right, time for our next science experiment here. This comes from It's Gaming Pero, the Kitty Black. Suggestion, you could revive your dogs, but kinda. This is question, take this question. Get your ghost dog, any you like, and then go to storage. Uh, press ghost dog and copy your dog link and export of your dog, ta-da. It's revived, you can breed it. If it's patched, then RIP. I think I know exactly what you're saying. So here, we'll go here. We already have a ghost dog that's out, coincidentally. We got pencil case. Pencil case, you're, you're a good boy. You, you, you look really weird when you're kind of transparent. But here, let's see if we can export you. Oh, we exported a dog. Dog code copied. Well, let's see if we can import. And, <gasps> well, I mean, your name is Loaf now, but yeah, yeah, your, your, your pencil case again. So we're gonna have to name you Pencil Case 2.0. I'm glad to have you back, Pencil Case. And you know what that means? I, I, I mean, that means any of our ghost dogs. We, we, we can we can revive again and make copies of them. So all the breeding suggestions that you guys have... Oh, there's ones I haven't been able to do because dogs have passed away. And now I, and now I kind of feel bad. Okay, I, I, I don't really feel that bad yet. Bubbles, you... Here, let's crack open this core. Let's make it... Let's make you live a long time. I, I, I believe in you. Yeah, eat the cracked core. There you go. Beautiful. And go ahead and pupate while you're at it. 
Yep. Boy, you've been eating a lot in here. Wow, I'm really glad I reinforced food for you because whoo, you've been busy, boy. And my pencil case ghost dog. Oh, you've done great work. You have done great work today, my friend. I'm proud of you. Well, for the last comment that we're going to use for today's episode, we're going to take a breeding suggestion that comes from Sun and Moon that says breed Leviticus and Scrunkly when they get old enough. You know what? They're old enough. So here, let's go ahead and grab Leviticus and let's go ahead and grab Scrunkly. Oh, no, that's Spiderback. Oops. Scrunkly, Scrunkly. There we go. Scrunkly. And let's see what pops out. Round one. And yup. We got so we got some cool dogs. I don't think I see any keepers right off the bat here. So let's just uh, let's see how far down this rabbit hole we can get. I I, I want to see if I can get a really cool dog before we get far enough down that we just you know have to kind of give up and just take the one dog. So yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, we've gone really far down this rabbit hole, and I'll I, I'll be honest, I'm not getting like a a, a huge amount of variety at this point, but. I don't know. Uh, I guess now we'll just we'll get close to zero and see what we come up with. Well, tiny litter. You still look cool though. You got some really cool features. I mean, yeah, you, you look like you you never miss shoulder day. I'll tell you that much. I mean, uh, your your shoulders look beefy, my guy. Well, let's pop you in an egg and see what happens. <gasps> Leviticus, how do you how do you get out of your enclosure? Here, I, I, you go in there. And let's pop this egg in. And there you go. Scrunkly, you look like you look like oh, you are taking a nap. Good for you. Leviticus, you could use a nap as well. Here, go ahead. Sleep. Sleep on it. There you go. Sleep on some alien fruit. Kevin? Boy, everybody's tired. What's going on? Is it because I'm recording this uh, like much later than usual? Do the, do the dogs react to my own sleep schedule? What's cracking? Granule. You're you're not tired, but yeah, you you're kind of a grump. You don't like to be touched. So here, let's find you some entertainment somewhere. I believe if we go this way, there's entertainment, I believe. Let's see. Nope. How about uh, up here? Nope. Well, I hope this has been fun for your Granule, because it's been a blast for me. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is the room I was looking for. Here, Granule, watch some TV. You don't want to do that? Well, th get out of here then. Through all that work trying to make Granuel happy. And you just ended up right here next to Dwing Dong, who also needs a nap. Bubbles? Oh man, I really hope you get some cool mutations and uh, 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 from all this crazy experimenting that we're doing. I mean, you got kind of a weird color. What is that, mauve? Wow, you have like, you've eaten everything in here. Wow, and a lot of teeth have fallen out in the process. Jeez, okay. Well, let's hatch our egg here and see what we got. Ooh, you, <laughs> your head's so like low on your shoulders. It looks weird. Well, for your name, we're going to take a suggestion from Jasper that says, once again, asking for a dog named Panera. You know what? I do be loving some Panera, so let's go ahead and name you Panera. Just like, you know, like like the bread place. Well, with the birth of Panera, we're going to call it right here. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave it a thumbs up, and do consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I, I actually thought that we were at a million subscribers already. I checked the numbers. We are significantly lower, so... Let's help me get there. Okay, seriously, I know we're not going to hit a million anytime soon. But uh, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Kaz out. Peace.